Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Um, last full day for me in Canada. Uh, over in Niagara Falls area. And I am going to do a Canadian <laughs> special reading. I didn't think I was going to read on this topic, but I was asked in the comments to do it. And I am in Canada and you know, entertainment purposes only with all that. I'm going to do um, a brief read on the current situation with Justin and Sophie Trudeau and their separation. Um, and I'm sorry that after 18 years of marriage and three kids that it's coming to this, uh, people do change over uh, a time in their marriage and when maybe, maybe what worked for them 18 years ago hasn't been working recently and they probably have done work to try and make it better, but uh, there's just times where um, things that chapter of your life is over and it needs to be closed and uh, moved on after that uh, having been through a divorce myself I understand uh, I understand that concept it's not easy and there'll be a lot of emotions with it and I can't imagine running a country and having to go through that as well um, hopefully it's amicable and they can work together in what's the best interest for their kids and uh, uh, both move on and find happiness with whatever they're doing from that point on. But let's um, let's take a, a, a look and see what the current energy is around uh, the announcement of their separation. Okay, so entertainment purposes only, please. Thank you. Okay, so what's the central part? Uh, Knight of Wands. Um, it's, yeah, Knight of Wands is, in the, is the signifier position. It's about moving on. There's a plan in place. It's following the plan step by step. You can't rush it. You just got to get through it. And the only way to actually get through it is to actually do it. Um, crossed by the Seven of Swords. Okay. Uh, two meanings with this. Um, there should be enough for everybody in this relationship. In other words, there should be enough money for both of them. Um... You shouldn't have to fight over spousal support. You shouldn't have to fight over child support. But that doesn't mean just because you are you shouldn't fight over it, it doesn't mean there won't be a fight there. Because sometimes people want the other person. You have to be careful about one person thinking the other person's taking more than, than what they deserve or what, they're, what they have due. And there's got to be some balance and equity in it. The other potential meaning for this card and I've had this card come up with relations is infidelity um, I will leave it at that I don't know of any stories of infidelity I haven't really followed the Trudeau's uh, marriage at all but uh, if, if it came out there that there was infidelity on one or both people uh, it wouldn't surprise me because that what that's what this card could represent but I'm hoping in the context of this um, now, let's see. What's the underlying card? Knight of Cups. Going forward with new relationships. Okay. I was thinking that this could be in the context of a financial separation. I suspect when you have this Knight of Cups underneath it, as well as this Knight of Wands, that there was some infidelity at the end, of, at, at least at the end of the marriage. It might have been happening sooner. Uh, again, entertainment purposes only. I'm not here to judge people and their decisions, um, but... Again, if the news comes out that there was infidelity, I would not be surprised. In the past, uh, Justice, I think that as a couple or a power couple goes, these guys are great together. Um, they did a lot of things. They've advanced a lot of um, justice or social justice type programs. Uh, I think probably they treated each other very well. And... I would assume that it was a intellectual and emotional uh, equity between the two of them, but maybe um, with uh, just with Justin Trudeau being uh, the prime minister, uh, more he had to be more and more selfish with his time, and you know the balance. I don't, again, I don't know how one balances uh, family life with political life when the job you uh, are working politically wants you 16 hours a day and if it could get those eight hours of sleep from you it would take those two so what a tough situation to be in i'm surprised any marriage 
much less any marriage with kids survives uh, uh, the leadership of a country. So, you know, kudos to the Jimmy Carters and uh, the George W. Bushes and uh, the Barack Obamas of this world for being able to keep their families together during uh, uh, the presidency. Current situation of the hermit, we're now finding out about it. We're going to get more and more information. Uh, obviously, they're going to want to keep things private, but it's such a public couple in such a high profile position that information is going to come out. They're not they're not private citizens in the truest sense of the word. They're public figures and the details of of their marriage and the dissolution of their marriage is going to is going to be revealed. And the tower. Um, <laughs> the, I guess that's going to answer the next question I was thinking of asking is they're separated right now. Will they reconcile? Uh, no. <laughs> it's done. It's done. I suspect um I suspect also it will progress quickly. Uh you could also look at um the tower I usually uh, uh associate with the her with uh, this card, the current situation and the outcome, things coming to an end. And the hermit is things being revealed uh crossed with the 7 of swords. It's probably again the revealing of infidelity and that's like a, a that was a bridge too far that's a final straw if there was any reconciliation if there was infidelity the infidelity kills the reconciliation and i get that because how would you trust somebody ever again if they fooled around on you because anytime they're not around are they going to be fooling around are they are they doing what they said they're doing or are they doing something else The lesson to be learned is the going away card. Um, moving from choppy waters to calmer shores. Um, I think this is going to be more for Sophie. Um, uh, or Mrs. Trudeau. I, should, well, I don't know her first name is Sophie. I don't know her. But, you know, it's going to be moving away. Uh, uh, and and likely and taking the kids with her type of thing. So expect that mom's going to get custody of the kids. And they will, they'll move out and they will have a calmer life. It's not going to be... <clears throat> not going to be suburban mom calm, but it will be calmer than um, the high intensity that one has when they're uh, uh, married to the leader of your country. But yeah, they're it's, they're moving away from this. This this divorce is going to happen. So the tower's like what's revealed led to the tower moment, and <clears throat> the outcome is related to the tower moment. It's definitely ending. She's definitely leaving. I don't think this is a separation. I think that's the full divorce. The outcome is temperance. Um, temperance is about uh, detoxification, integration. Um, as things move out, uh, she and the kids will be integrating back into society in a more normal role. Um, if there was toxicity due to shenanigans going on during the manage, during the marriage, excuse me, uh, those will slowly um, be resolved. Uh, but in the end of the day, this divorce is something that should have happened. You've got you no know, three major arcana, four major arcana here in this. It was, it was time. This is just something the marriage had run its course. Everything was done that needed to be done. Now it's time to heal and get ready for the next relationships that you've got coming on. Okay. So, um, that's kind of, uh, what I see as happening with that as I put the cards back in here so are, are they going to get are they're separated are they going to stay separated and get divorced yes I don't think they're going to reconcile I'm going to pause just for a second as I shuffle okay we're back um one quick little read what will be the biggest challenge to them having an amicable divorce I was trying to think of what my next question was going to be I was going to ask me are the kids going to be okay and divorce is going to be hard on the kids it just will be um, but what's the biggest challenge? And we're, what I would hope for is an amicable divorce. It makes things easier on everybody. But what's going to be this, the biggest challenge to an amicable divorce for them? Uh, it's going to be the going away. The, the actual separation. Um, I guess it's maybe getting to a calmer space where if they were arguing or fighting, things have calmed down. So, um, and there's the emotional leaving 
uh, the separation. Mom taking care of the kids, valuing, taking the time to uh, love and nurture the kids on this one. And the King of Cups, and that's going to be Justin Trudeau. You know, he's going to be uh, doing his work and stuff like that. Uh, the, you got the, oh gosh, you got the King and Queen of Pentacles underneath it. The King of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so what's going to be the biggest challenge? Um, the biggest challenge, they just, they need to be separate. They need to be separate. Um, they need to go back and, and evaluate and reevaluate what their values are. I think mom's going to focus on the kids and doing what's right for the kids. And as long as they both realize that their lives are a bit calmer and the kids' best interest is in part, is part that's going to be key to an amicable div divorce. Um, they need to let go of the emotional attachments to each other. <laughs> Extremely difficult thing to do when you've been married to 18 years for somebody. But hey, that's what you got to do. And you got to be mature. You got to be mature about it. And again, as I was saying earlier, King of Pentacles, it's understanding that there's plenty of money for everybody. Do not fight over money. Take your fair share. Don't take more than your fair share. Just take your fair share. There's plenty of there. Um, and it'll be fine. Dad will take care of the kids. Even if, you know, she's got her half, uh, she shouldn't have to worry about if Justin loves his kids or if he's going to help them get through university and stuff like that and do whatever it is that they do. They're the lifestyle by with which they're accustomed. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure he loves his kids. I'm sure she loves their kids. And as long as they keep the focus on their love for their kids and making things the best life possible, for their kids until their kids are adults and, and go on with their own lives they'll be fine okay so good luck to both the trudeaus i wish you the very best sorry that you're going through this but um i hope you heal i hope you understand what happened and that uh you make adjustments for any future relationships that you're in thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel i really appreciate it i'll catch you on the next video take care